And Route 5 has the ability to nest around obstructions. And this is part of the one of the new nesting algorithms that we have. To get to this capability, we're going to first uh, decide where we want to position the parts to be nested and where to position the parts that we want to use as obstructions. And so uh, to, to accomplish this, the parts I want to nest are going to need to be outside the plate. Anything within the boundary of the plate will be considered an obstruction. When I select all these shapes and go to the nesting tab, and I'll just go right over here to the nesting uh, toolbar button, we'll see that the shapes that I want to nest, which are outside the plate, show up as pink. And the nest, uh, the obstructions that I want to nest around show up as red. So, so the, by definition, anything inside the plate will be seen as a potential obstruction. Uh, the only type of nesting that can accomplish this is the new nesting uh, capability. And we want to check the obstruct button here at the bottom of the screen. Now I'm going to do a quick example here with these parts selected. I'll say I want to do 30 of these. And because I have obstruct selected, when I hit apply, I'll see that I'll nest these parts into the sheet, but I will not nest them into the selected area. And again, this would work with or without toolpaths applied. So the, the nesting them with obstructions is a fairly simple process. Just have the, before you go to nest, just put the parts you want to use as obstruct, obstructions or, or parts wherever you want to have an obstruction on your plate. And when you go to the nesting, it will automatically be recognized as an obstruction. And this would be handy for bad areas in a material or if you want to avoid certain areas due to clamps or fixtures or some type of other obstruction.